Okay, before you dismiss this basic math problem as too easy, as like, you know what, this is so easy, I don't need to do this problem. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of people don't understand basic math words as well as they think. So here is the problem. We have two times the sum of eight and three. So my question to you is uh, actually two questions. One, what is the answer to this question? Okay, you can put that into the comment section. And my second question is, can you write a mathematical expression that basically uh, is the same as this, but we're going to use mathematical symbols instead of words. Okay, so can you translate this into an actual mathematical statement? So you can put that into the comments section as well. I'm going to show you the uh, correct answer to this problem in just one second. And then, of course, I'm going to walk through uh, exactly what's going on. And so you uh, have a strong understanding of these words here, okay? Um, a lot of you might be surprised that you don't understand this as strongly as you do. No problem, though, because I will fully explain it in just one moment. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so two times the sum of eight and three, what is this equal to? Let's go to take a look at the answer. The answer is 22. Okay, so how'd you do? Well, hopefully most of you out there got that right. And if that is the case, let's go ahead and celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus, A 100% and multiple stars so you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in the area of translating a verbal phrase into a mathematical phrase. Now, most uh, people will have no idea what that really means, but it just sounds pretty cool. It sounds so professional. It sounds uh, esoteric. Okay, if you don't know what that word means, it's a pretty big fancy word. It just means you're using kind of fancy language. But uh, nevertheless, if you didn't get this right, well, uh, don't despair. This is pretty easy. And for those of you that did get this right, I'm going to see here, you know, if you got lucky, you may have gotten a little bit lucky, and you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. But uh, let's go ahead and get into this right now. Okay, so um, as I kind of talked about, uh, we have translated a verbal uh, phrase into a mathematical phrase. Okay, now translating is a huge part of mathematics. Okay, math is a language. Okay, just like you translate anything, you might go from English to Spanish or, you know, uh, Spanish to Chinese. It doesn't make a difference. You, you can take one language and translate it into another language. And what we're doing here is taking effectively, in this case, a verbal or an English uh, statement, but it could be any other language. But we're going to write this into a mathematical uh, statement. Okay, you have to know how to do this. And there's some uh, very specific things you need to understand about some of these uh, uh, terms here, some of these basic math words, okay? So let's go ahead and translate this verbal uh, phrase into a mathematical sentence. All right, and we'll just take it one word at a time, one letter at a time. So here we have uh, two. So two is what? Well, obviously two is two. So two or uh, times is what? Well, times means multiplication. So two times what? Well, two times the sum of eight and three. And this part of the problem is where a lot of uh, uh, people, I don't think, uh, understand strongly enough. Now, everyone probably goes, well, probably will say, oh, the sum just means add things up, and you would be correct, okay? So I'm not saying you don't understand the word sum so much as uh, if I said, hey, find the sum of eight and three, okay? Most of you be like, well, that's just eight plus three you would be correct, but here is kind of the big technical thing that I want to emphasize. Anytime you are dealing with the sum or difference, okay, the difference is when we subtract, you want to put that expression when you're translating from a verbal phrase into a mathematical phrase, you want to surround that sum or difference by parentheses. You want to have that as a group. This is very, very important, okay? 
And if you don't understand this now, you're going to have a difficult time in algebra. Okay, so I'm just telling you right now, uh, anytime you see sum or difference, put that in parentheses, put that in a group. Okay, so two times the sum, uh, two times the sum of eight and three is going to be two times parentheses uh, uh, eight plus three. Now, we'll see here in a second, if you didn't do this, if we didn't put this sum in parentheses, what would we have? We would have two times eight plus three. Oh, two times the sum of eight and three. Well, if you're going to do the order of operations, which we're going to do this in a second, you would end up doing this incorrect. You would do multiplication first before parentheses. And then you would get the problem wrong, and then you would be very angry. You'd be like, I should have listened to that guy on YouTube. Man, I think he knows what he's talking about. Well, listen, there's a lot of things I can't do, but because I've been doing math for decades and decades and decades, trust me, I've seen it all. I've made all the mistakes. Uh, I've seen all the mistakes. So when I'm emphasizing things here, you know, you probably should heed my advice. Okay, so this is why you need to put sums and differences in uh, parentheses. All right, so now let's go ahead and continue on with this problem. But before we look at the rest of the problem, I would love for you to look at that subscribe button and just don't even think about it. Just go and hit that. And when you do that, hit that notification button as well. Uh, you have no idea of the positive impact this has on my YouTube channel. You know, of course, I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel. I'm trying to teach as many people as possible because it doesn't sit well with me that there are so many people that struggle uh, in mathematics. They that really don't need to. Almost everyone out there can do very well in math. The problem is you're not getting uh, clear and understandable math instruction, okay? Oftentimes, you're getting kind of textbook-like math instruction and, you know, very formal. Uh, nobody really wants to be taught that way. Like, today in class, we're going to learn the order of operations and specifically we're going to da-da-da-da. You know, we would all fall asleep. So what I try to do is teach this stuff in a way that you like it and, under, and understand without watering down what you need to know. So by you subscribing, it kind of makes me feel like you are now uh, my new student. By the way, on my YouTube channel, you'll find 2,000 plus videos from basic math to advanced math by calculus and everything in between. But if you want my best formal kind of course instruction, you'll find links to all that stuff in the description below. Okay, so let's get back to this problem. So we just talked about how we're going to translate this two times the sum of eight and three, and extremely important to put that sum in parentheses. So this multiplication operator, we could put, you can write it this way, two times the sum of eight and three. But I want you to recognize that in mathematics, another way uh, to express multiplication uh, times a group is just put the number right outside of the parentheses. Okay, so you don't even have to have this symbol here, this multiplication operator. So this is two times the sum of eight and three. Okay, so as I kind of uh, indicated earlier, once we have this translated, this uh, verbal sentence into a mathematical sentence, we need to now start thinking about the order of operations. This is extremely important. So the proper order of operations, well, we kind of uh, um, think of this uh, by using this phrase PEMDAS, okay? Uh, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I don't know what Aunt Sally did, but we thank her for her cool little phrase. But real quick, for those of you that aren't familiar with uh, the order of operations, when you have multiple operations, and a mathematical operation is addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, powers, these type of things. We have to do this in the correct um, uh, order, okay? This little PEMDAS thing is like our checklist. It goes from left to right. Let me kind of quickly explain this first. So the P is we're going to do whatever we see in parentheses first. It could be those kind of parentheses. It could be brackets or these kind of squiggly brackets. So that's what we're going to do first. And you can see here, we have parentheses, and if we didn't write this thing without parentheses, if we wrote it this way, okay, we would make an error. Matter of fact, I'll leave this up like this so you can see uh, this in a second. Okay, E is what we're going to do next. This stands for exponents. It really means powers, okay? So if you see powers like 2 to the third power, this 3 is called the exponent part of the power. The 2 is the base, the entire thing is a power. So this is the exponent, so that's what E stands for. So if you see any powers, you do that next. The next thing here is multiplication and division. It's not multiplication, then division. It's whatever you see first from left to right. This is one of the most confused things in the order of operations. So multiplication, 
or division. If we have multiplication first, we do that from left to right uh, and vice versa. If we see division, we'll do multiplication. And then here we look at addition and subtraction the same way, whatever we see first from left to right. Okay, so if you didn't have these parentheses, you'd be like, all right, uh, are there any parentheses? No, no parentheses, right? If I, uh, if you did the prom this way, are there any powers? Nope. Is there multiplication? Yes, I would do multiplication. You get uh, 2 times 8, that would be 16. So 16 plus 3, you would end up with 19. And then you would get that wrong. You'd be very upset. You're like, why didn't I watch that guy's YouTube videos? Boy, it would have saved me a lot of uh, heartache. Okay, so this problem is wrong. Okay, it's translated incorrect. This is the problem we need to do first. We got to do the parentheses first, right? So we got to go here, right? So 8 plus 3 which of course is 11. But let's go ahead and just play out the rest of this problem, taking one step at a time. Okay, so eight plus three, of course, is 11. And then two times, there's nothing more to do inside the parentheses, right? So we're just left with this last operation. Two times 11, of course, is 22. Okay, so there you go. Uh, kind of a real basic illustration or example of translating uh, you know, a verbal phrase into a mathematical phrase. And, you know, when I kind of think of my little cute little titles here from my uh, videos, I'm like, hey, many people don't understand these basic math words. You know, in, s in some ways, you know, I'm trying to come up with some catchy titles, but really, I, you know, I'm not saying things I really don't believe, okay? Um, you know, I think people uh, think they know things better than they, than they, you know, they're like, no, no, I understand this stuff. They actually don't understand it as well as they should, okay? And that's a big problem uh, with a lot of people learning mathematics. So kind of blow through the basics. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I get that, I get that. I get this, I get this. No, no, I'm good with that, I'm good with this. Well, quite frankly, all that stuff that you're saying that you're strong in, if I gave you a test or an exam on it, you know, you may not do as well as you think. So if you're struggling in math, uh, the first thing you should do is go back to the basics. Re go back and review, strengthen your basic skills, and really kind of verify that, in fact, you understand those basic things that you need to understand. Okay, so a couple of quick suggestions here. For those of you that need help in basic mathematics, check out my Math Foundations course. It's a little mini um, a kind of math boot camp for basic mathematics. It's a great way to kind of restart learning math. Uh, you'll find a, a link to that in the description below. But uh, translating phrases, verbal, into uh, especially algebraic phrases, this is a big deal in algebra. So uh, I teach this in my pre-algebra and algebra courses. You'll find that in the description as well. But I have a, a ton of additional videos on this topic on my YouTube channel. But uh, either way, make sure you practice this stuff. Okay, So that way, it kind of goes into your long-term memory. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.